Hello everyone and welcome back to Bay Hill Studio. This video today is um, a demonstration of how I assembled the Dreamboat quilt. That written tutorial is up on my blog and I'm including the link in the description below so you can click on that and get all the pictures and the step-by-step -step tutorial. I created this video for those of us who are visual learners and might not enjoy the, the written description and, and written tutorial and might need a visual, um, visual cues to help out instead in addition to the written tutorial. But you'll get all the measurements and the step-by-step -step written version up on my blog. Again, the link is in the description below. Um, and I just wanted to start out by apologizing for the crazy lighting in this video. We've had weeks of um, overcast skies and rain and snow and basically no sunshine whatsoever. So um, the lighting was really tricky, although I did have to get this done. And so I, I used my extra lights that I have, but um, they don't compare to natural lighting, which I just didn't have. So bear with me with that. Um, and then I also just wanted to add a note that with this quilt, you can customize it um, because the, there's only two blocks in this quilt. And so you can alternate them, you alternate the blocks in this quilt and you can just add more blocks if you wanna make it larger. This is a baby um, slash toddler size quilt, measures about 47 inches square. If you wanna make that into a throw or a twin size quilt, you can definitely do that. Just add on more squares. And then um, the fabric I used is Hoist the Sails by Citrus and Mint Designs for Riley Blake Designs. And I used in the center of the star blocks, um, block, uh, squares from the fabric panel. And if you don't have that fabric panel, um, another option is just to create eight inch um, blocks, eight inch squares of whatever quilt block you want. You could do another sawtooth star on the inside of that or any, any block or any just if you just have a large scale fabric print that you want to showcase just do that in there so those are some options to customize this quilt and um, i hope you enjoy just this little visual demonstration of the process of assembling the quilt all right i will be quiet now and just let you watch and please um, comment below with any questions that you might have okay enjoy <music> 